Hey, welcome to 100 Mile Drive. And today I am back with my 2023 BMW X3 M40i. And I would like to give an ownership experience update after owning this car for just one year and putting 10,000 miles on it. So I'm gonna talk about some issues I had with this car like cracked windshield, constant sunroof rattle my ownership with run flat tires and few more nuances. So if you haven't watched my first video where I talk about five annoying issues on this X3 M40i after four months of ownership, make sure to watch that video. And also by the end of the video, I'll tell you if I am really happy with this car and who would be the right person to buy X3 M40i versus X3 30i. Let's dive in. And first is the crack in the windshield that happened literally within the first month of ownership of this 2023 BMW X3 M40i. I had literally less than 1,000 miles on this car. I was driving on a 101 freeway and then I all of a sudden heard a loud pop and saw a crack on the windshield with the size of an egg. Immediately took it to the nearest dealership. They looked at it and then they basically said, no, this is not a warranty claim. Then I took it to another dealership. They were all shocked to see this kind of size of a crack. Uh, they had you know, multiple discussions in the back end, but then they came out and said, no, this is not a warranty claim. I took it to a corporate, spent like a, more than a week, and then they came back and said the same thing. So basically they quoted me 3,500. This is what I said in the first video. And of course I went with a safe light through my insurance. Uh, safe light quoted me 2,100. First, I could not find an option there to replace with OEM windshield because they always want to use an aftermarket glass. But then I went to my local SafeLight office and explained the issue and they basically approved the OEM windshield and my insurance paid the deductible. So it's all resolved. Now I have a brand new OEM windshield. Issue number two is a constant sunroof rattle. That's right, I did talk about it in my first video where I talk about five annoying issues about the X3 M40i. And basically since then I took this car three times and in some cases left the car for a week. And after the third time I got my car back and guess what, same exact thing. Literally after three days the rattle reappears back and it mostly happens when you drive in the city at lower speeds on imperfected roads that the rattle just, you know, it just starts and it kind of yapping in your ear and it's kind of annoying. The funny part is that a few times when I took it to the dealer, they called me and said they didn't find any issue. But when I went back, we drove with the foreman and I exactly pointed this out and then they agreed and then they took the car in. But now since they're not able to fix this, I'm having this feeling they're just footballing me around. They're, they don't, either don't know how to fix it or that dealership that just doesn't have, you know, a way or means or skills to fix it. So I'm gonna go through BMW corporate again and hopefully we'll get it resolved. And issue number three is a small issue that started happening recently and it has to do with the mirror caps. Now let me go ahead and lock the car. You'll see this one folded and it's folded all the way here. But now let me go on the driver's side and this one did not close all the way. It's kind of like a little bit open. You can probably see it from here. Now, if I look from the rear of the car, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this one is closed all the way and this one is not. So that's the new minor issue that I got with this car. And issue number four is run flat tires. It's not really an issue with the car itself, but it's more so with what BMW chose to put on this car, which is run flat tires, ruining the experience basically with the car that has adaptive M suspension, kind of like a shorter travel suspension, putting the run flats and making the car more jittery. After putting the regular Michelin tires on this car, this car is much better, more comfortable, especially at the lower speeds in the city. Now I made a whole new video on this actually not long ago and it got more than 13,000 views. Make sure to check out the video. I, t I explained there exactly my experience with run flats and then putting non run flats. And there are a lot of useful comments as well from other BMW owners and then different tires that people chose and how it changed their driving experience. Make sure to check that out. And now the most important question, do I personally like this car? And the answer is absolutely, I love this car. 
Let's talk about first appearance of this car. I think the exterior of this car looks absolutely amazing. It still looks classy. I'm not a huge fan of the new BMW language in the BMW iX and BMW i7. I only like the M3 and M4 because they look more aggressive. Now, as far as the interior, I also love this interior. I think it is spacious enough for most people. It is kind of like the previous Gen X5, very similar as far as the size. Um, and also like the layout of the dashboard, you know, the instrument cluster and enough buttons. I like how the two screens are separated actually compared to the new BMW X5 where they just use a curved screen and they're removing most of the buttons. I like to have my climate control as buttons and not just, you know, going through the screen. Let me know what you think. Do you like the new X5 design or you prefer, you know, the outgoing like X3 design having, you know, more buttons. So this is uh, my thoughts on the interior and exterior, but most importantly, why I love this car is driving experience. So let's go for the ride. All right, let's fire up the car. Okay, it starts in comfort mode, but I'm going into eco pro mode and I'll explain you why. And let's go for the ride. Okay, we're gonna put our interactive screen here where it shows the mild hybrid system, which is really cool. Actually, this mild hybrid system in this car really does fuel, uh, good fuel savings. Even compared to my four-cylinder Volkswagen CC, which is 10 years old, this car is more fuel efficient in the city. You can get literally 24, 25, sometimes even 26 miles to the gallon when you drive an eco pro mode and you don't have too many stoplights. You're kind of like cruising alone. On the highway, I made a video, I got 32 miles to the gallon. Again, driving in eco pro mode uh, at you know normal highway speeds. So this car is fuel efficient and I really like that. Now, why I drive in eco pro mode? Well, because in comfort mode, it kind of like a little bit more um, responsive, a little faster, right? So when you drive in traffic, when you drive it at lower speeds, you just want to enjoy just to drive, you know, you don't want to do anything fast, then uh, Eco Pro mode feels more smooth. It delivers power, power in a little bit more linear way where comfort kind of jumps, like you have to be easier on a throttle. Now, of course, when roads a little bit more free or if I'm driving, you know, uh, somewhere in the back roads, I love my sport individual mode where I set the car basically to the way I like, which is sport, engine sport transmission now there's sport plus mode as well but we don't want that uh, but comfort steering and comfort suspension and this is where you get to hear the bmw sound let's floor it and this car just sounds absolutely amazing it just kind of opens up you know from this quiet calm bmw becomes this really like that powerful character, that aggressive character, and it kind of puts a smile on your face. That brings me to the point, why and who would buy X3 M40i versus X3 30i? And the answer to that is this. I recently made a video when I went to an uh, ultimate driving event at the BMW, and I drove their X3 30i, and kind of talked about there, it's a very similar car, but it has a more comfortable suspension, even with run flat tires, but the engine there, even though it's torquey, it's still six seconds, right? It's a four cylinder engine. But when you hit the throttle, when you, you know, spend some time with the engine, you'll see that it's pretty basic, kind of like. All right, I'm going to go ahead and floor it now. We are in sport mode. Oh yeah. This is definitely not B58 engine. <laughs> Let me see sport individual sport sport plus there you go floor it. yeah off we go oh man this is much calmer car so you know this is there's no drama happening at all in this car um still very good don't get me wrong it's still a good car and actually 80 90 percent of people will buy x3 30i but when you sit in this car the x3 m40i it's a six cylinder it's a heavier car shorter trial suspension. Now your experience is enhanced a lot more. So if you know what B58 is, 
if you enjoy this growling engine sound even when you're not flooring it then this car is for you if you're enjoying this driving experience even though it's slightly it's not slightly it's quite a bit firmer car than the x330i uh, but it's still pretty comfortable on the regular tires i must say so if you enjoy all this then this is the car for you and i highly encourage you to rent it for a day in fact if you're really considering to buy either one rent both of them like a, maybe a day or a week apart and really see for yourself you will see that x3 m40i is a completely different animal than the x3 30i and your conclusion will be yes i absolutely want this or you'll be like no this is just overkill i don't need this i just want to enjoy bmw you know safety bmw that confidence but i don't care too much about this enhanced engine you know farmer ride and then the crispiest steering and all that so i hope that's clear for you guys so like i said i'm pretty happy with this car um, on my second year now let me know what you think let me know in the comments i'll be happy to interact with you let me know about any of the issues i described what issues you are having and if you want to watch another video i already referenced all of them in this one go ahead and watch this one where i talk about run flat tires i think it's a really good video that you want to watch if you're considering kind of like any premium car not just bmw and i'll catch you in the next video